So welcome to my channel and on this channel we talk about music, politics, art and everything in between really. <laughs> Apparently, a door for sexy. Okay. And witty. <laughs> Well, this has been a long time coming, isn't it? I have like this huge ass pimple. I try to press it, but if there's one thing you know, is never press your pimple. Anyway, ignore it, Mama. But now that I've mentioned it, you probably won't. So stare at it. Wash my hair today. Combed it in this. I think this is my go-to style now for the for the rest of the quarantine. I think. It's okay. It's easy to do. So anyway, so uh, let's talk about something other than our crazy ass politicians. I did make a video some time back talking about the scandal. Or is it not really the scandal, but the craziness that was going on on Facebook between models Alice Rollins Musukwa and Mercy Mukwiza. I'm well, the drama was last year, it resurfaced again this year, and apparently, I don't know, but they seem to have pushed it up. Alice is a model, so is um, Mercy, and, you know, they're both doing their own thing, and they brought the audience, us, the innocent civilians. These two decided to bring their issues onto Facebook, and they decided to bring, involve us, okay? They involved us, and as usual, we just returned the favor. We returned the favor by minding their business because that's our job. I mean, at least that's my job. Minding other people's business is my business, okay? And especially if you bring it to social media where you're telling us your personal life. We can, we, that's what we're going to do. We go nose around. Ah, damn, this people. We go nose around and don't blame us. So that's what uh, Alice and Mercy did. They were like, oh, you guys are so nosy. That I were like, we would have never known if you guys didn't tell us. So stop blaming us for doing what? Minding your business when you brought it to us. Don't call us names for your fault. Like, <sighs> anyway, if you want to know this drama that is happening between Alice and 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 the three girls, Messi, Natasha Van de Bras. Okay, I don't know her last name, okay. Van de Maas, whatever her name is. And uh, so that Mercy, Natasha, and Candy, you can, it's on all over on YouTube. You can find other channels, which that brings me back to this topic of, like, how are you just going to take a whole video of something that's on Facebook? You just take it and upload it on your YouTube channel. Like, what's the whole, what, what? <laughs> anyway, I see. Do your thing, sis. All right. Today, I want to talk about this new thing that Alice has been, you know, she's been advertising. She's been telling us to look forward to. And honestly, I've been looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to seeing her new work outside her, you know, mod modeling agency, her modeling, you know, career. She decided to come up with a talk show. The talk show is, I wrote some notes. So if you see me staring on the other side, that's because I have, I took down some notes. I watched this. Uh, today, which is a Saturday morning, and I'm recording this video on a Saturday, the 2nd of May. So if you... S anyway. When I... Looking at the clips, I was really not into it. Because the clips that, you know, the... The teasers that she was putting on Facebook and on her YouTube channel were giving me vibes of, Ugh, here we go again with the nonsense topics that we can watch on Mealy Beauty Products page. Like want to hear nonsense and non-educational non ugh, we can just go back just like, oh my god you they're all so i say to myself self just she's put up the entire episode episode one give it a chance don't you know don't just watch it so i did and uh first impression great video quality you can tell that they the, 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 they took time to make sure that this came out right great video quality and the setting is a kitchen setting where you know it's just like friends are just you know that's their setting 
unlike me you know me i'm poor i don't even have muka ishtre kwa proper video mwa bashan anyway i digress so that's a the kitchen setting it's a, like a kitchen setting they're just eating and the first few minutes is just all over banter they're just bantering about everything really and then they kind of stayed on the topic of like at the first five six minutes they first stayed on the topic of marriage like oh when you look at the zambian culture or not even zambian culture like you look at the way marriage is seen in zambia it's like that's where you are and the character mainga who's the man there's the three girls is messy messy i'm sorry there's uh alice there's um Oh dear Lord, I have for Melba. I'm sorry, Melba. Melba, Messi, and Mainga. The three M's. Ah, oh, there you go. Uh, Mainga is a guy, and I feel I I I I knew Mainga from college and university. I saw him around. Uh, he doesn't talk like that. Like that's not. That's not the way he talks in real life. So for me to see him play a character, a ratchet character, the one that he does on Facebook, on YouTube, I was kind of disappointed um, because I know that that's a character he's playing and it's just he's playing this flamboyant, loud mouth, the ratchet, the uneducated, the guy who just doesn't think before he speaks kind of character. And me, I'm like, can you leave that for Facebook, please? Just... But anyway, I guess that's what he's going to run with it. So let's see where this goes. This is only the first episode. The girls, of course, Alice being Alice. Melba is the calm spoken one. And so they stayed on the banter. They stayed on the banter. Blah, 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 blah. It got interesting when the other guy, William Wapi, joined the conversation. Because I think that's when it took a, a more interviewee, interviewer kind of setting where we got to know what we've known these uh, people for because I honestly knew them from the drama of the Mercy, the 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 whole modeling drama. That's where I knew them from, and I would have liked to get a background story of okay, who are you guys? Why why did this happen? Why did I know you through that kind of thing? And I think William brought that up with his of course with his smart ass remarks, with his snarky little comments. I think he brought in the questionnaire kind of talk where he you know riled them in, and when I think when he brought that in. Um, you could even tell the, 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 the conversation changed, even the way they started responding and the way they started talking immediately changed from the loud, obnoxious, blah, blah, kind of topic to a more, okay, we're going to answer these questions. And then the topic jumped from the marriage stuff that they were talking about until the Mercy G art. Now I did a video on Mercy G. Mercy G was or is uh, an artist who apparently draws and she was caught out for fraud. She was caught out for fraud. First, she was caught out on Twitter and she went quiet for a few weeks or so. And then she took that shit to Facebook. The same fraudulent activities where she was lying to people that it was that way. She took it to Facebook. And then we saw the likes of Alice coming in to defend her and saying she should continue doing that. So Alice claimed in this uh, i'm caught with uh, alice episode one she claims to have been the one to told mercy g to have told i'm sorry to have told mercy g to apologize now this leaves me with a thing i was like okay so mercy g didn't even think that it was right to apologize to her fans and the people who were paying her money for for all of this she didn't she didn't think it was necessary to like guys i fucked up i'm sorry kind of thing she didn't she didn't want that like it was not even on her mind she was just like okay this is this is my life you know, if you're on the book, you fiend, kind of thing. So, <sighs> but anyway, so also Alice mentioned something about, oh no, it's none of the business, but that, uh, like they were saying that it's none of the business on how, um, how you, you carry your business kind of thing. And people on social media, you don't owe anybody an explanation. If you don't owe anybody an explanation, why do you ask people to follow you on Instagram? Why do you ask people to like your pages on Facebook? Why do you ask people to follow you on Twitter? Why do you ask people to subscribe to your YouTube channel? You know that this you need people to for your business or whatever it is that you want to do to, to go further. I mean, I'm always asking people here to subscribe and on whatever. So whatever I the topics that I cover here 
I know that there, this is going to be open to comments that I might not like, the comments that I might like, people who disagree with me and people who agree with me. Of course, keep it in a respectful way, otherwise you don't get your ass blocked. You, I'm opening up these opinions that I'm giving here. It's not, it's not written in stone. Like they might change, somebody might change my mind in the comment section. Like I'm opening this conversation up to people who, to ridicule or, or, or not. Because so when you bring your business on social media, you owe us an explanation. Like, I'm, bitch, I'm following, I'm following you. I thought you was for real, but you ain't. And you're not even going to apologize. You think what? You don't owe me an explanation? Huh? When you open up your home, you know, you have these family uh, channels. You have these family channels. You have people who just tell their lives on social media. You're literally opening the door to your house and letting people in. You're making your business my business by telling me your business so don't get upset when i ask when i ask for for explanation when i hold you accountable for the stuff that you are telling me that i should hold you accountable for like that's just how it works if i started making my youtube channel about my family and how i live my life you have every right to come and say hey what happened here da, 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 you you know i'm opening myself up to that this that's the name of my game so don't say people should mind their own business when you're making your business my business. And plus, minding your business is my business. Girl. So, Mainga and Alice stayed defending Mercy, defending her fraudulent activities. And then Wapi asked a very interesting question. He said, Mainga, you made a video about Mercy. You, you literally were like, that song, you know? You were literally calling out the lies of mercy. So why is that different from us calling out and asking for uh, something from mercy G? And of course, because mercy, because they do not like mercy no quita, that kind of, you know, it was like, uh, that's an exception because, you know, they tried to run circles around that. But all in all, that conversation in itself was very interesting. I enjoyed that conversation because I got to have a glimpse of what happened before the video before my Inga made that video before alice made that video like i got to know what had happened okay so alice and Mainga stuck to their guns and they say they would support fraud as long as you know they're gonna support it they're gonna support fraud so okay good for you generally speaking it was a very beautiful wreck to watch it, the the first few five six minutes were very cringy like i enjoyed the the part where they kind of explained the whole drama. Will I be watching the next episode of, of Uncut with Alice? Yes, because I want to see where this conversation goes, like where she takes it from here. I would love to, at first, I would love to see a more, you know, rounded conversation, a more in-depth conversation, a more sophisticated and thought-provoking uh, conversation because based on the setting, I can tell like they put, they put a lot of thought to this and it shouldn't be ratchet like my show here. But like, I think when you put in so much work, I, I would love to see her touch on, on topics of homophobia in Zambia. I would like to see her touch on the Christianity part of Zambia. I would love to see the topics of, you know, like just a sophist because this doesn't limit Based on when they started this conversation, I can tell that her, her channel, like this Uncut with Alice, does not just limit itself to social media. So I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. I am really hopeful that the next episode is going to be thought-provoking and I'm hoping to enjoy it. So all in all, go watch it. Go see for yourself and support, support it. I mean... It's always great to see more Zambian content. It's very few Zambian YouTubers we have here anyway. We have a lot of Nigerians, we have a lot of Ghanaians, a lot from other countries, but it's very few YouTubers who are doing, especially like this is very different. We have um, High Five, but High Five is not, is, is a different, is in this different lane. It's more about interviewing and what's trending, blah, blah, blah. But I think this is very different and I'm really looking forward to seeing it as seeing a more sophisticated and more, like I've already mentioned, okay? So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed my episode one review of Uncut with Alice. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel.
So uh, subscribe, like, share with your friends. Please leave a comment in the comment section. And like I stated before, if you disagree with anything I've said, feel free to disagree. But if you feel like you cannot disagree without calling me out of my name, I will block your ass. But thank you for watching anyway, okay? <laughs> Let's keep it respectful. We can always disagree in a respectful manner. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video.